Hi Gemini, I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars. Now there's a very, very nice connection between your ruling planet, Mercury, to sitting in the solar third house for you, which is very uh, positive, encouraging, and um, quite a powerful position. It's like you're in line. It's in line with you in that position. Now between Mercury and Jupiter, Jupiter is known as the planet of luck. It's a um, planet of abundance and expansion and Jupiter of course is in your sign at the moment so you put these two together it's it's like um, it's a sextile so it's like an opportunity that can cross your path but it's also an opportunity that you need to recognize and you need to step out of your uh, area of comfort and go and grasp it. So somebody for instance might sort of give you a tip or uh, let you know of something that's coming up. It's likely to doing that it's in the creative area so it can be do, to do with media arts work. Um, you know also later in the week then Mars is moving into your solar six house. This is very much a work uh, uh, position. So with the, all these coming together um, you can, you know, some of you might be stumbling across almost an opportunity that's going to take you in a different direction. And But as I said, it's going to be up to you to step out. That, you know, somebody might tell you about an opportunity, but they're not going to just give it to you. So you have to make an effort to go and sort of get it. So keep your ears and eyes open and, uh, you know, be your own PR agent. You really need to do that at the moment. Don't wait for someone else to, you know, tell a prospective client or um, employer how great you are, tell them yourself. So step out there and sort of put yourself up for whatever's going. Okay, now the sun is on the move this week at all as, as well, and it's going to move into your solar fourth house, which is all about your domestic, your home matters. Um, now it has a, also a nice connection with Mars. So uh, in one way, it puts a little bit of Mars can put a little bit of pressure on your home life in the sense of uh, divided loyalties. It's like, you know, you're busy with work, but you also, you know, have things going on at, at home. Um, it might be that somebody needs your attention and you don't have time to give it to them. Okay, so just try to, you know, reschedule and make time because... Um, you know, life goes on and it's all about balance in the end, very much so. Okay. All right. Have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching.